Now, as protests in Hong Kong enter their 12th week, demonstrators and the media covering the political unrest are finding it harder to obtain essential equipment like masks, goggles and helmets, as both brick and mortar as well as online stores are short in supply. CNA's Afifa Arifin has this report. Gas masks, goggles and helmets. These items have become staples for anti-government protesters, medical aid workers and the press documenting the political unrests here in Hong Kong. More importantly, anti-government protesters need to equip themselves with the necessary gears to face the altercations that have become increasingly violent. Now, many of the protesters tell me that they bought their protective gear either online or from local hardware shops. This is one area in Hong Kong, in the Mong Kok district, where there are many rows of such stores which sell protective equipment like helmet, goggles and gas masks as well. Now, the shopkeepers here did not want to be interviewed for fear of being identified by the police for selling to the protesters, but they did tell me that they have seen a marked increase in the sales of such products since the protests first began in June. 60-year-old Thomas Leung has been running his hardware shop for more than two decades. His usual clients are made up of those from the construction industry. But nowadays, he's seeing a flood of people from all walks of life. Mr. Leung says he's had to reorder stock of protective equipment due to overwhelming demand. But this has been difficult, he says, as many of his wholesalers are also not bringing in large quantities due to import restrictions. An online site supporting the anti-government movement called Hong Kong Protect has also informed buyers that it is unable to ship in large quantities of protective goods and other related items. It added that stock could take up to two months before arriving. Demonstrators are also finding it harder to buy those items online over the past weeks. Queries on Chinese e-commerce sites like Taobao would often be met with replies like, the items are not found for Hong Kong-based buyers. Chinese media have also reported that some mainland stores are refusing to sell items like helmets and laser pens to Hong Kong buyers. Logistic companies said there are a list of sensitive items, including black T-shirts, banners and facial masks, which will also be detained at China Customs. As protests enter the 12th weekend with no signs of slowing down, those in need of protective items will have to find other avenues to get them. Afifa Arifin, CNA, Hong Kong.